pages. Pages, numbers, and keynote are all part of iWork, which is technically not even iWork anymore. No one really calls it that anymore. But iWork is an application that came with the Mac that now can do Word, Excel, and PowerPoints. And it's Apple's version of it uh, that comes completely free with the machine. Back in the day, that used to be $79. We actually even discounted a little bit more, where Office was about double the price. And the idea was us trying to convince people that using Pages was the best option. The only thing I ever knew was Word, because back in the day, that's all your options really were. I mean, everyone used Microsoft. Microsoft dominated the world, especially Windows 98, 95. All you had was Office. Why not do it? Why is there a point of doing anything else? Well, that's why I wanted to talk about it because I feel that Pages is very underutilized as a word processing application. In fact, a lot of things that I have created in my life have all done with Pages. Uh, in fact, why not just show you something on the screen right now? You're seeing my W Vafias Productions, so a little bit of advertising here, but the point is that I have created this entire brochure using Pages. Now, some of this was a template. Now, templates are very useful when it comes to this, but you can see here, I created this whole thing inside here. I didn't use Word. I didn't use anybody to help me out with this. This is all done with me through Pages, and it's an incredible tool, and I can't believe a lot of people don't even realize you can create this, and it's very, very simple. So I'm gonna do real basics here today. This is a simple, just an introduction to it. And I'm gonna knock all the quick criticisms out of pages because people right away say, well, how can I get it to somebody else? Or how can I do it as a word file? Well, it's very easy. So on the left side of the template chooser, you have the real, like every other template chooser, basics, books, letters, resumes, flyers, posters. And believe it or not, in side of pages there are two different types of documents in here i'm going to tell you what that means in a second but you can see that there's different ones so if i open up just a uh, report you can see this is really really basic everything is i'm going to hit choose here and it's pretty simple so you have right here it's just text and as you can see as i click it it highlights everything inside the field because it knows it's a tempo changer it even has like the date right here which is really convenient so look at all these different things that it can do. It's really, really convenient to do this. Now, if I close this and I go back to the template chooser, there is obviously another one here for posters. And when I open this up, look, it's completely different. It's text boxes. It's not like a normal format of a document. It's done completely different. So there is a difference between the two different styles of documents. So I'm gonna close this and go back to new, and I'm just gonna make a blank document as everyone normally does. And right away, I'm gonna start off with the document section. Now on the top right corner is the document. In here, believe it or not, this is where the change is made. There's something in here called the document body. The document body is a checkbox that describes, is this gonna be where you just type? Or if I uncheck it, it even tells me I'm converting this into something completely different as a layout. If I hit convert, now if I click inside, look, it's not clickable. Why? Because everything is done with text boxes, shapes, and photos and media. And that's how this is now created. So what a big difference that makes. That it all depends on what type of document you are planning to make. So document body makes a humongous difference on what you're making. Back to the beginning of the template chooser. So I'm just gonna choose something right here where I'm just gonna choose essay. And all I have to do is click inside and start typing, this is my heading. Now everything on the right side over here you can see is your paragraph styles. Now I did not understand paragraph styles before pages. I didn't understand what that meant or how it works, but they make it extremely simple to choose a style that best suits what you're doing. Here's a subheading, here's the body, you know, they even have even areas of attribution. Like there's different things in here. There's different sections that all have different styles. And that way it matches across the board. So if you're typing a body and then you go to the next line and you need that to be a subtitle, all you gotta do is click and subtitle and look, it moved it over for you and you can just start typing again. Really, really simple stuff. Now, the last thing I'll talk about in this 
very, very beginning stages is, of course, how do I save this? Well, under File, when you hit Save, it's pretty simple. It's going to save it as a Pages document. Now, the good thing is, inside of iCloud, there is a Pages section built in here. So all your documents can be put into the application of Pages. The way the world works now, everyone understands apps more than they understand Finder and folder organization. It's kind of changed. The App Store completely changed it because now everything's built inside. In fact, a lot of customers that I talk to regarding teaching them how to use these documents don't understand files and folders. So by storing it into the application itself, Pages, it's not really going in the application, but what it's doing is it's saving it in a folder in iCloud that is particular just Pages files. And everything you can see in here that I have is all different pages documents. So I'm going to call it this is a test. I'm going to call it this is a test and save it in pages. So there we go. Now this saves as a pages document. So it's not a Word document. The question is, can you send a pages document to somebody else? Well, yes, you could. But you also have to make sure they have the ability to understand a pages document. Not a lot of third party softwares are going to understand a pages document. So, of course, that's always been the biggest problem. People don't like the fact that pages saves as a pages file. Well, that's the format you have to work in if this is the type of document you're going to be working with. So, how do you change it? Well, there's a f about 18 different ways. I'm going to give you just one. So inside of file, there is an option called export to export to, as you can tell, gives you a bunch of different options. Now, for me, if you're sending it to somebody else that doesn't need to edit it, PDF is the way to go because that way no one can edit this. And then when you hit PDF, it gives you the option of the quality of the PDF. But also, look, even if I didn't hit word, word is an option here. So right away, there's no excuse, people, that you cannot use pages because right here is a Word document and it formats it into a Word document. Now, I will warn you that if someone else's computer doesn't have the font that you are using, there is a chance you're going to lose that font. And that goes for any computer. If you chose like monster font, of course, if that other computer doesn't have monster font, it changes it, which is why I choose PDF almost every time. Word files you should only use if you need someone to edit it for any reason. But beyond that, PDF is the way to go. And when I hit next, it already gives me the name. I could save it in the exact location I was, or I could save it directly in here. And that's how you save a PDF. And it's really simple. Now, to make this even better, what if you don't want to save a PDF version? What if you're just giving this to somebody? Well, there's an option for that too. Inside the share, right up here, there is an option to send a copy, and guess what? It can go directly to Messages, AirDrop, Notes, and Mail. And Mail is one of the most significant ones I would always recommend using. If I click Mail, it's going to ask me again, what format do I want to send it? Pages, PDF, Word, I'm going to do PDF. And then by default, it attaches it into the message, and boom, there it is, as a PDF file. And all I got to do is write who I'm sending it to, and it goes right out as a PDF. Very, very simple. There is no excuse why you can't do that. Now, last thing I'll talk about is collaborate. Now, I think this is important because what if you want someone to edit this, and they do have pages? Well, collaborate is really simple. When you click on it, you are collaborating with somebody that has pages. So, example, my wife has pages on her iPhone. So I can actually send it to her as a message and watch this. Boom. I can say, open my shared document. So when I send this message to them, by default, it's going to go out to her. She can edit on her iOS device and the changes will automatically be back here in my document. Really, really amazing stuff. So don't tell me that you can't use pages. This is a simple overview. And if you fans like it, ask for more. I will go into more detail of what things you can do. But don't tell me that you can't understand pages. Everything I just showed you was all built right in. I didn't have to do any changes. I didn't even change formatting. We didn't talk about formatting, layout. The only thing we talked about is document, selecting a save as, how to export, and how to share. 
And if as long as you understand this, you will be able to do anything. I believe in you guys. Thank you for joining me on the very first version of whatever I'm calling this.